So who's the audience? What value is it going to provide for that audience? And where does that audience live? Hi everyone, we're back with another video. Now today I want to revisit a topic that I have discussed in the past and that is the use of video to grow and sustain your school. Now I have, as you obviously have noticed, I have Devin here with me today and the reason that he's here is because he's a part of our film crew. You've seen him in many videos, I'm sure, if you follow our videos and I thought it would be nice to have a member of our film crew here to discuss this topic. Actually, I want to begin with a story that I want to share with you and I want to share with Devin of something that happened recently at our school. And it's actually this incident, incident might not be the right word, but, but is this story that is what has brought this topic back to my attention and, and what's uh, made me decide, let's revisit this topic and, and let's share some ideas with you guys. Uh, and so here's what happened. I have a student, uh, a young girl in my beginner's class who's been with me now for two or three months, not very long. And a couple weeks back, her mom stopped, stopped me and, and wanted to tell me how much her daughter loves classes, how much she's practicing at home. She said when she's not practicing at home, and this is the key, this is sort of what, what brought this back uh, to my attention. She said when she's not practicing, she's watching Tygon videos on YouTube. And so I want to ask you, since you're here, how does that make you feel? I think for me, and especially for everybody involved, um, knowing that what we're making is reaching an audience and that it's informing people, which is the reason why we're doing this, uh, I think it's fulfilling. It's, it's very much an important feeling to know. It, and so obviously, you know, I, I figured that that was going to be the essence of, of what you said. And I'm happy that you chose to use one word in particular because that one word is the focus of this video and that is audience. I see a lot of videos that different martial arts school owners are releasing and I have to say I see a lot of good videos. Being a member of different martial arts groups on Facebook for instance there's a lot of videos that are posted. I'll probably share this video here when we upload it uh, and, and I do see a lot of great videos. There, there's people that are really definitely doing it right but there are a lot of people, I think, that are missing a crucial step in the process and that comes back to that word, audience. That step is you have to consider who is it for and what is it for. And because it's so easy nowadays, most people, can, most people have a camera in their pocket and they pull out their phone, they record a quick video of something happening in their class. Maybe it's a Facebook Live. It's on Facebook. And maybe maybe it reaches an audience but what's the intended audience and what value is it going to bring to that audience so it, like I said it could bring value to an audience who do you think if I just shot a quick video I load it to Facebook what, what value do you think that's gonna provide and who would you think it's for Would the video be of uh, of like class so just a random maybe there's something happening in class and I say hey let's just film this this looks cool I think that, um, that that kind of raw, raw visual representation of class would very much aid people who want to know an environment that we learn in. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it would kind of grab the attention of people who are searching for a school, maybe. Um, Definitely. I, I can see that, absolutely. Uh, there is one, one issue with that, though, that, that we'll address. So. What you just described actually is something I talk about in the free video series I put together on using video to grow and sustain your school. Uh, and it's this idea that video is just such an awesome tool. I mean, obviously, it, it's a way, like you said, for people to see the environment, for people to actually basically enter your school without entering your school. And this is something I think martial arts instructors, especially all businesses, can be using video in, in such a way. But martial arts instructors especially, it's a different environment. It's not one that many people are familiar with. If I opened up a new store, people wouldn't hesitate to, to go check out my store because we enter stores all the time. We're familiar with the environment of a store. If I open a new restaurant, same thing. We, we go to restaurants and stores all the time. Martial arts schools might be foreign territory. So like you said, kind of letting them see that environment can help ease the process. Uh, but 
just taking that video on Facebook and, and letting it sit there might not be the best thing if you're not pushing it out to an audience. If you're using a Facebook ad to do so, great. Or if you're taking that video and you're putting it on your website because presumably you, you have a website and you're running different promotions to direct people to your website to learn more about what you have to offer, that's where a video like that is great. But even better is taking a, taking a sequence, putting together a sequence of videos, maybe a musical montage, if you will. I think that, with the preparation that goes into that, will produce a greater return in the end. Is there anything else, any other value you think, just taking a video in the moment, something great that's happening, because I do see it as being valuable. I think with some modifications, it can be valuable in the way that you described. Is there any other way that you would see that being valuable, a different audience that it could reach? I think that that could also reach the parents of students also, like um, to see their child progress or to see what they're up to in class. It would very much draw their attention and it, it would be a very important part of keeping students. Absolutely. With their permission, of course, Yes. <laughs> take, yeah, taking, and we have, we have your mom's permission, right? I, Probably. Uh -oh, we might have to stop. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but absolutely, absolutely. To me, that, that would be the instance in which I think that's going to provide the most value. But now there's another thing to consider. And that is, who's it for? What's it for? So who's the audience? What value is it going to provide for that audience? And where does that audience live? How can you, it's your job to get that value to the audience that you're trying to target. So if you're doing Facebook, yes, on your Facebook page, you're, certainly I'm sure members of your school have liked your page. We have, I know, uh, the, probably hundreds of people that have been a part of our school, are a part of our school, have been a part of our school in the past that have liked our page. Here's my recommendation though, get a group. Start a Facebook group for your school and let that be where the parents and the adult students can engage with that content and now you're using that video to show the growth that's happening in class and I think that can be incredibly valuable. And uh, so we, we could go on and on about this topic. There's there's so many different audiences that you can reach and so many different tactics that you can use. Like I did mention in this video, I've put together a free video series breaking down some of the different strategies we're using. I'll include a link uh, somewhere, if this is on Facebook, somewhere in the post, in the description, on, uh, on YouTube, if you're watching it there, and also uh, at the end of the video, the link that you can go to if you want to access that video series will come up. But just to summarize, I think there is a missing step or a step that a lot of people are missing in the process and that is get clear on who the audience is, get clear on the value that you want to provide with the content that you're creating and then go to work on making sure you're bringing that content to where your audience lives. And if you do those, those three things, I think you're going to be much more successful in your video marketing efforts. All right, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for joining me today, Devin. I, I enjoyed hearing your insights and hopefully we'll do it again soon. Take care.